Dear student, today we will learn chapter number two, parallel lines and transverses. In this chapter, we are going to learn practice set 2.3. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it today itself. Let's start. Practice set 2.3. Question number one. Draw a line. Take a point A outside the line. Through point A, draw a line parallel to L. Let's see the construction of this question. So here it is given draw a line L. So first we will make a line with the help of ruler. You can look at over here. I am making a line. So okay, you can see that I have made a line. Line has arrow at both the ends. So you should make arrow at both the ends, right? What is the name of this line? It's line L. So we'll name this as line L. Okay. Now take a point A outside the line. So what we have to do now? We have to take one point which should lie outside the line. So you can see here I have taken a point. We'll name this point as A. Okay. Now we will take set square. Okay. You can see it is a set square. You can see it. here we have two edges of this set square which got a number, right? These two edges we use to draw a parallel line. Look at over here. Okay, so this two set square we will use. Now make a note that one of the edge of this set square will lie on the line and the other edge of the set square will touch the point. You can see that how I am going to how I am placing over here. Yes, you can see that. You can see that one of the edge is on the line and other edge is touching the point. Now we'll take the another set square. Okay, it also you can see both here these two edges got a number. So we'll use this. What we need to do, one of the edge should touch the set square and other edge should touch the point. Okay, so we'll place it like this. Okay, you can see that. This one of the edge is touching the set square and the other edge is on the point touching the point okay now we will draw a line using this edge of the set square okay now you can see we got a line now we will extend this line with the help of ruler you know the line can be extended because it has no fixed length okay you can see that it is a line okay what is the name of this line you can name it as line M. So your line M is parallel to L and passing through point A. Okay. Now we will move to the second method. Okay. So we will draw first line, the same line that is line L. Okay. Let's see here. It is line L. Now we will take point A outside the line. Now what we will do, we will make a perpendicular to the line L from the point A. Okay, so again we will take the help of set square. One of the edge will lie on the line, other edge will touch the point. Let's see how it is this way. Correct? Can you see that? Yes, now we will draw line. You can see that it is a line. It is a perpendicular from A to the line L. Now what we will do, we'll, we will take one more point on it. Okay. Say this point is M and this point is N. Now from this point N we will draw perpendicular using the set square. Again you are going to place the set square this way. The horizontal line will lie on the, okay, and the vertical this way. Okay, you can draw a perpendicular. Okay. Now, look at, now we will draw arc on the other perpendicular. That should be equals to MA. Okay, you can see that this length we will take. Length equals to MA with the help of compass. And we will make a arc on the second one. Okay. Of the same length. Now, we will join this arc with this point to get a parallel line. Okay. 
you can see that it is a line which is passing through A and parallel to L. We'll name this as line M. Now here question number 2 is same as question number 1. So we will move for the question number 3. Let's see the what is question number 3. Draw a line M, draw a line N which is parallel to M at a distance of 4 cm from it. Let's see the construction of this. First we'll, we will make a line with the help of ruler. Okay. Mm. okay it is a line. We will put arrow at both the ends because line has arrow. What is the name of this line? It's line M. Now we have to make one more line that is line N. It should be parallel to M and the distance between those two lines should be 4 cm. So what we will do, we will take two points on it. Say it is a point A and point B. Okay, now on both the points We'll, we will make a perpendicular segment on the line M. Okay, so we will use your protector. Here we have the horizontal line, and this point is called as center of the protector, right? A point uh, at the center, right? So what we will do? We we'll, we will place this protector in such a way that the horizontal line of the protector should lie on the line, and the center should be on the point A. Okay, you are going to place it like this. Okay, now we have to make a perpendicular, means we have to make a 90 degree angle over here. Okay, so we will mark here 90 degree. Okay, now, now we are going to keep at B. And here also we are going to place in such a way that the horizontal line should be on the line itself. And the center of the protector should be on the point. And we will mark over here 90 degree. Okay, now with the help of ruler, we will join point, first point with the A. Okay, it is a perpendicular. We'll join the second point with B with the help of ruler. Okay. What is the distance between the line N and line M? 4 centimeters. So with the help of ruler, we will take 4 centimeter. Okay, you can see that. I'm going to take here distance of length 4 centimeter. Okay, see I have taken 4 centimeter over here. Now we will place the pointer of the rounder at point A and we will make a arc of 4 cm on the first perpendicular segment. Now we will keep it at B and he also will make a arc of 4 cm. Okay, so this is 4 cm and this is also 4 cm. Now what we will do, we will join those two arc with the help of ruler. Okay. Okay, you can see that I have joined both the arc. Okay, we got a line and this line is parallel to line M and distance between those two lines is 4 cm. We will name this line as line N. Okay, so line N is parallel to line M and distance between those two lines is 4 cm. This way we can construct, we can do the construction for the question number 3.